It's bonjour. bonjour. It's Monica uh, from Map Art Studio and Gallery, and I have some special, exciting news for everyone. Um, I'll let Linda a little bit take it away. Um, you'll see these beautiful sunflower paintings behind us here. Linda made. What was the inspiration there, Linda? Ah, well, Monica, I have the wonderful good fortune of, of spending a lot of time in France, and I go every summer. Yeah. Uh, I started going about eight years ago, and I am so inspired by the wonderful fields of sunflowers all over southwest France, all among the chateau. So when I saw the uh, an ad, Travel Zoo just came across my desk, and it said painting classes, and I thought, wow. I mean, I'm a lawyer. I, I don't paint, but I need to do something more creative in my life. Yeah. So I said, yeah, I'm going to do that. Yeah. And I came to Monica's studio here, and uh, I just wanted to paint sunflowers. Now, which and one that's was what the... I've done. Yeah. This is my first, this is one. The first it's one. pretty yeah. awful. It's pretty awful. She always says that, but they're <laughs> actually really good. Yeah. I have no talent at all. I think I did this one in France this summer on some down... Because some... she's been back to France been again. been back and forth a few times between my classes, and this is my most recent one here. Yeah. Um, so, and I came back, so... Yeah, so we were, before Linda went to France um, this summer, we were talking, all a group of us in the studio, about possibly starting a tour um, to the region where Linda has been visiting, because she's been going actually for the last eight years, so she's been very familiar with all of the local culture and the people and a lot of the events and happenings in that region, and, um, and we thought, let's give it a go. Um, we, just area. Looked at, we just looked at each other one day and said, yeah. what about painting in France? Yes. Yeah. So we've put together a yeah. really interesting two-week uh, trip uh, this summer. We have a lovely house rented with a pool with views all over the Dordogne Valley in a little hamlet lost in the vineyards and a little secret area of France that is little known. I don't think there's any Canadians. I've never met any Canadians there at all. Nice. Uh, mostly Anglos that come over and spend their summers with their families. Mm -hmm. Little villages, chateaus, vineyards, sunflower fields. Mm -hmm. It's hot and dry, sunshine okay. all the time. Lots of wine, too. <laughs> lots um, and lots of wine. Yeah. What uh, area is this? This is in the uh, Bergerac wine area. It's just uh, on the border of the Dodogne and the Lot Garonne, which is uh, south. It's about an hour and a half uh, east of, of Bordeaux and uh, about half an hour south of Bergerac. And this Bergerac wine area, completely different from the Bordeaux wine area. Beautiful wines. There are about a thousand different wineries all around the area. And they're all small family-run wineries where you can just walk in and say, I need a bottle of wine. Oh, but made for goûter avant. You always have to have a degustation de vin before you buy some wine or whatever. Uh, and you just run into them wherever you are. So that's all part of it. Part of it. And so we were thinking of going on uh, which days? We've got, uh, we're looking at going July 11th to 25th. 11th to 25th. So this, uh, this summer, two yep. weeks. Two weeks. And the activities that we have planned are? Well, what we, were, what we thought would be uh, make a really interesting and very unique uh, experience mm -hmm. would be to spend part of the day painting using the chateaux and the sunflowers and the villages and the abbeys and the markets as inspiration to paint mm -hmm. for perhaps half a day, three hours a day. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the time, we would uh, enjoy the area. We would go to the chateaux. We would go to the night markets. Uh, we would go on hikes. We would go on picnics. We would go canoeing down the Dordogne. Mm -hmm. uh, we would go shopping at the markets, and they're all around there. Mm -hmm. The two weeks that we've chosen are the... Are the um, there's some really uh, lovely events uh, yeah. happening at that time. July 14th, of course, is Bastille Day which, uh, you know, there's fireworks everywhere in France. And yeah. then um, there's a, a wine fair in my little village that I go to. There's a wonderful, wonderful sound and light show called uh, La Bataille de Castillon. It's a, it's a sound and light uh, open air um, reenactment of the Hundred Years' War between the French and the English. Amazing. There's horses galloping over the hills. There's chickens and, and pigs, and, and it's a whole outdoor show. It's magnificent. So that will all happen while we while we were there. So those are some events we could include. Probably uh, a cooking class. We've uh, yoga. T I've got a yo wonderful yoga teacher who's offered to do some yoga classes. Uh, I've got a friend who does wonderful wine tasting, uh, wine pairings. And you are part of the um, wine group as well. Uh, yes. Be, through through my experience in in France, there I was a few years ago initiated and inducted into. Um, it's called the Confrérie du Raisin which means the Brotherhood of the Golden Grape. 
which wow. is uh, all over France. There's these confrérie, and there's sort of a, a social organization. It's actually an intangible heritage uh, uh, under the umbrella of, um, of uh, UNESCO. Oh, okay. And they're all over France, and they're really there to promote la table française, the French table, mm -hmm. the food of the area. You have the, the brotherhood of the strawberry, of the mushroom, of the trouffle, of the sardine, of the garlic, of the grated garlic, it, any number of them. But all a lot local. of the group, but all local, yes. Yeah. So a lot of my associates are French, and uh, we actually organize walks in the area, wine tastings, uh, concerts. It's very much uh, contributes to the um, tourism of the area. So I have a lot of fun with that. And this summer, you did some interesting things with some authors in the oh, area. And you brought some little surprises some of my neighbors. as well. Yeah. Some of my neighbors. One of my neighbor, uh, her name is Chiaro Fili. She's, uh, she and her family have developed an organic winery. That was one of my neighbors, and she's written books on it. The first one is Grape Expectations. The next one is called Saving Our Skins. And it's about their family's trials and tribulations in setting up an organic uh, vineyard. Uh, oh. Biologique, you see in French. Uh, in the area, and she does uh, some interesting wine pairings and tastings, and oh, has a wine school, and so that's part of the activities that could be included. Yeah. Um, my yoga teacher, her name is Fiona Valpi, a lovely lady who settled there and did the dream of fulfilled the dream of renovating a beautiful old farmhouse, and she's now writing novels. Amazing. Um, so, and she also will do classes for us at yoga. So what we're planning to do is have some painting. It's really for creative adventurers. So yeah. you know, people that want to come and paint, relax, have a lovely house and a pool and some lovely food, which will all be included in, our, in what we're putting together, yeah. as well as having a lovely experience of the area yeah. that really you probably couldn't do Otherwise. unless you've been there you yeah. know, year after year and figuring out where the concerts are, where the little restaurants are, what's happening. Because everything, of course, is in French, mm -hmm. and even the Anglo's that go there miss out on so much because yeah. the, the English really don't do French. Right, and both of us actually. Um, for those of you that do know me, you know that I have an English and a French degree as well, and Linda is fluent as well. So you don't have to worry. They don't have to worry if they're going to come. Um, yeah, you, not did French, knowing. you did French immersion. I, I did. Yeah, I did French immersion, and I did a minor in. French and English major oh, so at the University of yeah. Victoria. Yeah. So it's yes, really it's very so, handy. <laughs> so we just we just thought this would be just a great opportunity to share this area, share Monica's skill and passion for share for painting, and yeah. to share my passion for this area of France, and um, make it a wonderful experience. I think it will be lovely. So if you're interested. Um, there are a number of ways that you can sign up for our information sessions. We're having one in January uh, 9th, um, which will be at the studio here. It's at 1335 Pemberton Avenue, uh, 7 to 9. Um, so we might have some surprises for you if you show up. You do have to RSVP, so it's 604-999-6177. Uh, this, all this information will also be up on the website under mabartstudio.com. Um, and... Uh, we're planning that January 9th, and then we do need yeah. to confirm everyone as soon as possible. So if you ha are interested, we'd love yeah, to hear from you. Yeah, and we'd love to take you on this really awesome trip. Um, and anything else that we want to add? I don't. Uh, I think that's, pretty I think that's, I think that's about it for now. Yeah. I think that's about it. Hopefully we'll see you on the 9th, and thank you so much. Thanks, Au revoir. Okay. Au revoir, bientôt. <laughs>